Imagine walking into your backyard and stumbling upon a hidden treasure. That's kind of what happened in Egypt. Only it wasn't a chest of gold coins, but something far more mysterious. Think ancient puzzles wrapped in sand and secrets. Just when we thought we knew the ins and outs of what the pharaohs left behind, Egypt throws us a curveball. A child buried with not one, not two, but 142 dogs. Art that looks like it could hang in a modern gallery? Buckle up, folks. These recent finds in Egypt have left even the most seasoned archaeologists scratching their heads in amazement. Number one, 2,600-year-old cheese. Picture this. You're knee-deep in the sands of an Egyptian tomb, surrounded by the silent gaze of statues and the cryptic beauty of hieroglyphs. And what do you find? Cheese. Yes, in the dusty corners of a burial site in the Giza region, our modern-day Indiana Joneses have hit the jackpot. This isn't your average grocery store find. We're talking about a 2,600-year-old dairy stash, cradled in pots bearing inscriptions that could rival the Rosetta Stone in mystery. Saqqara, a treasure trove of history, where every grain of sand whispers secrets of the past, didn't disappoint. Known for its rich tapestry of temples and texts from eras long gone, it served up a slice of culinary history. Why cheese in a tomb, you ask? Well, Ancient Egyptians believed in making the afterlife as comfy as possible with food offerings to keep the departed spirits fed. And it seems they had a taste for halloumi, that chewy cheese we love to throw on the grill. Let's chew on this. Halloumi back then was likely a mix of goat and sheep milk, and maybe a dash of cow's milk, not too different from our modern mozzarella. Nowadays, we go heavy on the cow's milk for that extra stretchiness and because, frankly, it's everywhere. But wait, there's more. This isn't our first rodeo with Egyptian cheese finds. Back in 2018, archaeologists discovered cheese from 3,200 years ago, giving us a peek into the ancient cheese-making art. But this old cheese came with a side of bacteria, offering a clue to diseases like brucellosis that could have troubled the ancients just as they do some today. Since 2018, Saqqara has been like a gift that keeps on giving. Over 100 sarcophagi popped up in 2020, pristine as if they were crafted yesterday. With so many more pots to pop open, we're left wondering, what's next on the ancient menu? Stay tuned, because history has plenty more in the pantry waiting to be served up. Number two, the disc of Sabu, nestled among the gilded treasures and storied relics of Cairo's Grand Museum, where the echoes of Tutankhamun's legacy still linger, there's a curio that has left many scratching their heads, the Sabu disc. This artifact, circular and unassuming, harbors a riddle that even the sharpest minds can't seem to solve. Let's rewind to 1936. Picture this. The Saqqara burial grounds are silent and still until British Egyptologist Walter Bryan Emery uncovers the tomb of Prince Sabu, who played the son to Pharaoh Anajib. Among the antiquities, there it was. The disc, with its precise, curvaceous lobes, carved from the delicate schist stone. Considering it hails from an era around 5,000 years past, the craftsmanship is nothing short of astounding. So what's the big deal about this disc? Well, that's where the plot thickens. Theories about its purpose are as many as the grains of sand in the desert. Some claim it's pure ornamentation, a testament to ancient aesthetics. But hold on, there's a more hands-on hypothesis. Could this disc have been a cog in the machine of ancient Egyptian agriculture, part of a water pump that breathed life into their fertile lands? To put this theory to the test, a 3D printed twin of the disc was made. And guess what? It showed some serious prowess in moving water, hinting at a practical use that could have quenched the thirst of a civilization. Despite these experiments and educated guesses, the true story behind the Sabu disc is as elusive as ever securing its spot as one of Egypt's most baffling enigmas to this day. Number three, young child buried with 142 dogs. Out in the quiet stretch of the Fayum Oasis, a mere stone's throw from Cairo's buzz, history whispered a new secret. Beneath ancient stone, a young boy of just eight summers was found, his final rest oddly shared with a staggering 142 dogs. No, this isn't a modern-day fairy tale. It's a page straight out of Egypt's mystic past. Now you might think, that's a lot of four-legged friends, and you'd be right. It's not every day, even in the annals of the pharaohs, that you find a kid mingling in the afterlife with a whole pack of pooches. The puzzle is as perplexing as it gets. Why this boy? What made these dogs worthy of such an honor? Deciphering the ancient whispers, researchers stumbled upon a clue. A linen bag enshrouding the boy's head. Not exactly your run-of-the-mill Egyptian burial practice. But wait, there's more. 
a smudge of blue clay, the kind that hails from old waterways, found with the canine remains. This hints at a tale that might tug at your heartstrings, a devastating flood, perhaps, sweeping away these lives in a surge of Nile's might. So here we are, left to piece together a story from bones and earth, trying to picture what the final moments were like. Was it fear that united them in death or something else? It's a mystery that turns the gears of the mind as we connect with a past that's always ready to surprise us with another unsolved riddle. The Boy and His Dogs, a tableau from ancient times that we're only just beginning to understand. Number four, Smiling Sphinx. Tucked away near the Hathor Temple, archaeologists were in for a surprise that would leave anyone grinning from ear to ear. Picture this, a sphinx, an icon of ancient Egyptian grandeur, but with a twist. Known for their stoic faces, sphinxes typically strike an imposing figure, part lion, part human, all mystery. Yet here we have a little guy who's all smiles, a sphinx with dimples no less. It's like finding a needle in a historical haystack. This tiny sculpture with its cheery demeanor could be shaking up centuries of solemn traditions. Unlike the usual depictions that are steeped in myth and might, this one seems to be playing by different rules, and the plot thickens with whispers of its possible identity. Could it be Emperor Claudius himself, captured in stone with a smirk? The implications are huge. It's not every day you find what might be a royal emoji etched into ancient history. And right there with our joyful sphinx, there was another breadcrumb for our modern-day Indiana Joneses, a Roman stele inscribed in both demotic and hieroglyphic script. It's like a Rosetta Stone light, and if we can crack that code, the smiling sphinx might just give up its secrets. Who was this smiling ruler? And why the break from tradition? The answers are waiting in the etchings of time, promising to peel back another layer of the past. And who knows, maybe it will teach us to look back with a smile too. Number five, the keeper of the royal secrets. Let's time travel back to 2022, when Egypt's ancient sands revealed the resting place of someone pretty hush-hush, a guardian of royal whispers, messy. This was no regular Joe. He was the man with the master key to the kingdom's most covert conversations, especially during some pretty dicey times. We're talking royal assassination level drama here. Messi wasn't just kicking it with one pharaoh, but two in the heyday of the Sixth Dynasty. Now being the go-to guy for pharaohs meant Messi was the keeper of all the secrets. Think of him as the ancient version of a top-level security clearance holder. Imagine having the power to know every scroll that would hit the royal desk, even before the ink was dry. In a time when most folks couldn't tell an A from a Z, Messi's role was nothing short of mystical. Some might say almost supernatural. This guy knew his papyrus and his hieroglyphs. He was a master of words in a world where writing was like wielding magic. But the full story of Messi, how he rose to power, and what ancient state secrets he took to the grave, that's still wrapped up tighter than a mummy in linens. As we keep digging through history's dunes, who knows what secrets of the scribe we'll uncover next. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In the vast sands of Egypt, where ancient secrets sleep beneath the dunes, a group of not-so-professional archaeologists found themselves face-to-face -face with a real head-scratcher. Inside a hidden chamber of a pyramid, they discovered something that made them do a double-take, a set of remains that looked like they belonged in a sci-fi movie rather than a historical site. Picture this, a creature with a resemblance to a cat, but not your average feline. This one had a vibe that screamed mutant. Now let the debates begin. There are folks who are convinced that this could be a new page in the book of ancient Egyptian wildlife, a creature straight out of a time when pharaohs ruled the land. Meanwhile, the skeptics are waving their flags, claiming it's probably just an animal that had a bit of a genetic mix-up. So, what's your take on this enigma? Could we be looking at a species that has ducked under the radar of history? Or is it just an unfortunate animal that met an untimely end and found its way into the depths of the pyramid? It's a puzzle begging to be pieced together. Share your theories, your wild guesses, or your scientific deductions down in the comments. Let's crack this code together. Number six, mysterious black goo. Imagine stumbling upon an ancient Egyptian mummy, as archaeologists often do, but there's something different about these particular ones. They're cloaked in a dark, glistening substance. This isn't your typical mummy wrapping. This is something special. After much curiosity and rigorous scientific work, the mystery concoction coating these mummies has been deciphered, a mix of animal fat, tree resin, beeswax, and crude oil from none other than the Dead Sea. 
Now, why would such a blend be slathered on the deceased? It turns out that in ancient Egyptian culture, black wasn't just stylish, it had profound meaning. Black symbolized rebirth and renewal, akin to the rich, fertile silt deposited by the Nile's floods. It was a nod to Osiris, the god of the afterlife, often portrayed with black skin as a sign of resurrection and eternal life. But don't think this black goo was used liberally. Oh no, it was more exclusive than the VIP list at a pharaoh's banquet. From mummies to revered artifacts, some from the legendary King Tutankhamun's own collection, this substance was reserved for the creme de la creme, the elite of ancient times. And the plot thickens. This goo has been found beyond Egypt's borders, all the way in Sudan, hinting at a network of trade and shared practices. What's truly fascinating is the distance this substance traveled. Originating from the Dead Sea, it found its way onto some of the most significant figures of ancient history. This wasn't just a matter of preserving bodies. It was a statement, a sign of status, and perhaps a passport to the afterlife, making these mummies not just a wonder to behold, but a captivating bridge to an ancient past full of secrets yet to be fully uncovered. Number 7. Tomb of a Previously Unknown Queen In the shadow of Cairo's timeless pyramids, a group of modern-day treasure hunters, also known as archaeologists, hit the jackpot in a sandy corner of the ancient world. They didn't just find a tomb, they unearthed a trove that sent ripples through the corridors of history. Imagine uncovering over 300 coffins, each one a masterclass in craftsmanship, depicting men and women from an era long gone, the New Kingdom period. Now hold that image and focus on the real showstopper, a tomb belonging to a queen who was once just a whisper in the wind, an echo in history. Her name? Neith. In a world where names hold power, hers is a direct call to the goddess of war herself, the protector of the city of Sias. Her very name woven into legends that shaped the cosmos, where she stood as the divine matriarch to deities like Ra and Sobek. This discovery is not just another notch in the bedpost of Egyptology. It's a seismic shift. We've got a new queen on the block, and her story is waiting to unravel from the depths of her pyramid. The dig site, active since 2020, has been like an ancient Egyptian jack-in-the-box, springing surprise after surprise. There's a labyrinth of tunnels, artifacts linked to the mighty Pharaoh Teddy, and even a soldier's remains complete with a metal axe, an accessory that no doubt has its own tale to tell. Queen Neat's resting place is not just a burial chamber. It's a puzzle box, one that researchers are eagerly trying to decode. With every shovel full of sand, they're piecing together a narrative that could transform our understanding of an entire civilization. And as for Queen Neath, her life is a canvas yet to be painted. The secrets her pyramid holds are like locked doors to the past, and the keys are just within our grasp. What will we discover next? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure. The story of Queen Neath is far from over. Number 8. Mysterious Handbags In the enigmatic world of ancient Egypt, something's catching the eyes of modern-day researchers. Peculiar purse-like symbols that seem to pop up everywhere. These mysterious bags are clasped in the hands of gods, towering figures, and even your everyday Egyptian in carvings and paintings that span from the Nile to far-off lands across time. What's the story behind these ancient accessories? Some experts are scratching their heads, wondering if these were just symbolic doodles meant to represent knowledge or the universe. Others think they might have been more than just a fashion statement possibly practical gear used to tote around items for sacred ceremonies. It's turned into quite the historical hullabaloo, with scholars and wild theory chasers alike delving into heated discussions. So what's your gut feeling on these ancient artifacts? Could they hold secrets of lost wisdom, or are they just ancient Egypt's version of a Swiss army knife? I'm stumped too, so I'm all ears for your guesses and theories.